All right, so I just saved on the desktop as a PDF. Do this two or three times an hour. I'm not gonna do it every time somebody asks, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna locate what I saved off of Illustrator. Okay, J, Olivia, and Jimmy. Jimmy, I misspelled your name because you weren't in here. <laughs> it's kind of funny because my brother's name is Jimmy Jimmy. So I shouldn't misspell that one. <laughs> okay, here's our PDF reader. I'm gonna double check again for spelling errors, school appropriateness. Okay, this is what we should see right here. Top right, I'm gonna click the print button. I'm gonna click print about 16 times before it actually prints. Oh, perfect. So now I actually don't have this document set up right. So this might be a little trial and error here. Can you see real good, Devin? I'm on the screen. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna click properties. Okay, I want same as paper size. Okay, but I'm gonna do custom paper size. And my artboard, I had 16 inches by 24, if I remember right. I'm gonna click OK. And this needs to be user defined for change paper size. This is gonna be helpful for me when I need to do this next fall or next spring if I have a semester I don't have graphics. Same as paper size, custom settings, click OK. Now our preview should actually incorporate now this right here. That's what we wanna see right there. The students work right there inside, 16 by 24. Click print, it's not gonna actually print. I'm gonna bring up another interface here. This is the important one where we save some paper. <sighs> okay, I've got something backwards here, but for your class, just this hour, this will work. This is why we divide into two videos, okay? These should be horizontal on the bottom. They're not for some reason, I'll figure that out. If I'm gonna click save paper roll, it already auto rotates for us. Now, finally, after all that, I can click print and it'll print to this machine right here. And then the students can go and cut their stuff out.